Hey, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Coming through with a question, a think piece, a rant here about whether or not every album deserves respect. Should you respect as a baseline every artistic statement you come across just by virtue of it being a, we assume, genuine artistic statement? Before I get too deeply into this conversation, I want to shout out our sponsor in this video, the good people over at Ridge. They make these nifty, metal-plated, wonderful wallets. They fit nicely in your front pocket. Replace your old, disgusting, bulky leather wallet today! And make sure when you do, you use the link down below and use promo code MELON to get 10% off of your order. Anyway, so is every album worthy of respect? I know that music conversations, music debates on the internet have the tendency to get pretty raw, kind of insulting, kind of mean. Is this how we should be conducting ourselves, though? I know also occasionally in a review, uh, I can go really in on a record and the aspects that I find awful about it and can get a borderline insulting, maybe not too the artist in question personally, but to the aspects of the record that uh, I find to be pretty awful. So where exactly is the line between disrespect and bold, honest, straightforward, unflinching critique? And once we breach that disrespect line, are there moments in time where it's okay or acceptable? I will say that as a critic, as a reviewer, no matter what album it is that you are reviewing, uh, trying to maintain at least somewhat of a respectful tone in most, if not all cases, no matter how harsh your critiques are, and, and there are moments where I even fail at this, uh, but attempting to do that, attempting to do your best to toe that line, nine times out of 10, you'll come out looking like you were mature, you took the high road, you did the right thing, but we're all human. We all make mistakes, and there are going to be times where lines are crossed and feelings are hurt, I think. And, and I think, honestly, there are uh, instances in which uh, disrespect, I'm not going to say warranted, but if you slip past that line, it's not the worst thing in the world or the worst thing that you could do. And look, this video is not me giving you, the viewer, the go-ahead to be shitty in reaction to any record or artist who you happen to not like all that much, because I have some very specific parameters around this whole disrespect thing. A few guidelines, for one, in art, just as in everyday life or conversation, you kind of get what you put in, in my opinion. Treat others how you would like to be treated because, look, there's a fair amount of music out there that in tone or in message uh, or in philosophy is disrespectful, is hateful, is overly pretentious or judgmental or tasteless. When it comes to music that houses these attitudes, especially if you're somebody who is a part of a group that is basically the target of this disrespect, like let's say, for example, I don't know, you hear a rapper who you think is particularly misogynist or sexist in their lyrics or their songs or what have you. No, I, I don't think that you have to be urged or that you're required to uh, respect that song or respect that album. And there are other cases in which disrespect can be shown in art or in arts messaging that uh, doesn't necessarily have to do directly with gender politics. I think some other examples uh, are Let's say, for example, Doug Walker's uh, The Wall, his whole critique of Pink Floyd's The Wall, the, the film, the album, but as its own weird, awful parody album. No, no, I see no reason to respect that record. It's awful. It's unlikable. I think the criticisms housed within the record are um, ugly and uh, <laughs> incoherent most of the time. The whole tone of the record itself is disrespectful, so I don't know why Doug wouldn't expect that very same reaction in kind. There are moments where I find songs or lyrics from, let's say, Hobson or Eminem to be incredibly disrespectful or irreverent. Uh, what about Nazi punks? Like if you find a bunch of Nazi black metal or Nazi punk music, uh, do you need to respect that just by virtue of it being an artistic statement? Of fucking course not. So again, if you come across art that in message or in tone is hateful, disrespectful, sexist, racist, whatever, 
uh, I, I feel like disrespect in that instance is kind of fair game because once more, disrespect is coming out of it. So you don't necessarily need to show it respect in return. So in my opinion, that is the major and most obvious instance in which respect doesn't necessarily need to be shown. Respect isn't necessarily earned by something just by virtue of it being a song, being an album, being an artistic statement. The only other instance in which I think disrespect, although in comparison with this first instance here, less disrespect is uh, earned or warranted is when an album or a song is <sighs> lazy, which I get can be a very difficult thing to gauge. But look, we, we've all heard it before whether it be through our familiarity with a particular genre of music that we care about or through an artist's catalog that uh, we know like the back of our hand. Uh, we've all had a moment where an artist, a new artist or an old artist whose albums we care about or the genre that they exist within that we really care for, uh, they've come out with a really lazy, not trying at all piece of work that is underneath the standards of them or the genre they're functioning in to the point where it's just fucking insulting. Like you would have to think I am stupid for me to hear this and be compelled by it. At the end of the day, I think respect is something more that you earn than is just automatically doled out. Though I do understand that for any artist out there, whether you are underground on Bandcamp or you're mainstream and you're uh, working through a major label, it can be difficult and it, it definitely is worthy of respect. Uh, the entire process of writing and producing and releasing an album and going through the process of subjecting yourself uh, to the criticisms that are going to come at you as a result of that record and, and taking that in stride and then touring on top of that. All these things can be really difficult soul sucking and that work, which is why I think a lot of uh, artistic statements just by virtue of being artistic statements uh, should get at least some level of respect. If you're doing it well, you're putting the work in, it seems genuine, seems like you care, seems like you're doing your best. Sure. You should be treated with at least some level of respect, especially if your music is being dealt with by a reviewer or a critic. So in my opinion, the lack of effort, not trying at all, not caring. If you don't care, why should we care? And on top of it, using your music to disrespect or deride others. Uh, those are the two instances in which, in my opinion, a respect is not necessarily earned or deserved or needed if you don't feel like giving it out. Though again, I feel like playing the respectful route if you're giving criticisms and you're giving critiques, because look, you, you can lambast something without being overly disrespectful, as long as your critiques are pointed and effective and, and based in reality. You don't need to get down in the mud to make a fair point, a fair negative point about a record that is bad, that maybe has a heinous point of view. You don't need to bring yourself down to the level of that record to say something salient about it and uh, maybe the philosophy or the ideas behind that record that you may dislike. The only other instance in which I'll add, and I think this is a case-by-case -case basis, I think this is uh, a matter of opinion on the listener, uh, maybe not a third point, but a 1.5 point here, is that if you happen to dislike an artist's extracurriculars, like uh, uh, separating the artist from the art type situation, like if somebody makes uh, pretty mild tempered and, uh, generic pop music that everyone seems to love, but uh, in their free time, they are hurting people. They're abusing people. They're doing horrible things to others. And as a result of that, you don't like that person. You find that person to be horrible. You don't want to have anything to do with their music. Uh, you don't care to separate the artist from the art. Uh, that's fair. That's fine. I understand. Especially if that artist is using their clout, using their platform to, uh, hand that harm out, to hand that disrespect out. So again, in my opinion, is every album worthy of respect? No, absolutely not. <laughs> However, the number of records and the instances in which uh, disrespect is warranted or fair or understandable, it's pretty slim. It's few and far between. Generally, I, I would say be, be respectful. And I think I will leave it at that. Uh, you guys have been amazing. Thank you very much for watching this video and just uh, kind of taking my points in over here. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Respect, disrespect, when is it okay? When is it not okay? Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, respect forever.